damn, you look gay. Bye, Joe. Oh, my. Oh. That performance I did right there in that very hall, that deserves a freaking Oscar, a Grammy, an Oscar Grammy. No, but you know what's more terrifying? This Carolina Tar Heel shirt. Oh my god, that- But I'm wearing this because, you know, my parents just came. My grandma and my, uh, uncle. They just came back from Carolina, North Carolina. They got some Krispy Kreme. They don't got no Krispy Kremes in Massabusets. And you know what? Krispy Kreme is better than Dunkin' Donuts. I don't care. Well, I don't care! I don't care. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Dunkin' Donuts is just bread with frosting on top. You take some bread, you put some frosting, boom, you got a Dunkin' Donut. Who's who's part of the gang weed? Who wants to collapse the government, the US government? The first article is gonna have some sort of spooky theme, but it's more of a white spooky theme. They cover the railings with fake little leaves. A little cute little pumpkin. You know, on the, on the window. Their whole house smells like cinnamon's ass. Beautiful sight to see. So we got a city in Tennessee named Gatlinsburg. They're breaking the world record for the most scarecrows. The world record's apparently 3,812 in, you know, UK. Back then, we were fighting the British, you know, throwing tea over. Now in 2019, we're fighting the British with scarecrows. If you make the trip over to Sevier County, you will notice an overwhelming amount of straw attractions. So the world record is- You know, I really hate these scarecrow thingies, okay? I said it before, but I'm saying it again. I hate these things with their little, little cute little faces. You know what? I'm not a crow by any means, but I hate these things, okay? Every time I see this little, little sh in, you know, Rite Aid or, you know, those other little stores when they're saying celebrating fall. I feel like punching it in its little straw face. When you're trying to put out 4,000 scarecrows everywhere is where you put scarecrows. Like in your ass. Oh! And so we set those up all over town for people to take pictures and create memories with. Create memories with a scarecrow? You're out of your damn mind, lady. That thing forms anger. That forms an extra mental amount of anger is what that, that forms. Now on Monday, a crew will come out and shoot a continuous unedited video counting each scarecrow from one to 4,000. From there, the video will go to the Guinness Book of World Records where they will watch and do a count of their own and then thus verifying if Gatlinburg does have the world record. For now, I'm gonna check like the actual, uh, rec well, the former record. Uh, let me see. See, like this scarecrow, they look like they actually like took time to stuff it and stuff like that. These people, they're just buying it at Walmart. They're not even trying. They made it look like what an Italian does when disposing of a body. It looks like a bunch of bodies. What if it is a bunch of bodies? Oh, oh yeah, by the way, if you wanted to know, they beat the record. Um, they had like 4,200, uh, scarecrows. <laughs> All right, so this man, Okay, Don Damon Corb. Imagine naming your child last name Corb. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Corb. I'm gonna call my baby Corb. That's very not nice, but I don't care. Because I'm a rebel like that. He tells parents to stop packing their kids' lunches when they turn eight to learn independence. Too much too soon can see things go wrong very quickly, but sheltering them could mean they aren't exposed to life lessons they need. A pediatrician has told moms and dads that they should stop packing lunch for their children when they turn eight years old. Hey, are you packing your kids' lunch? Putting healthy shit like ants on a log or whatever white people f***ing do? How about don't do that? Make sure your child is able to control what he wants. You know, you put in a nice little healthy sandwich in there and stuff like that. No, that's bad. If he wants to fill up his lunchbox filled with gushers, you know, lots, lots of sweets, 2,000 calories, go for Childhood it. Childhood obesity, am I right, Dick? If you don't follow his choices, you're killing your child. You're killing him slowly. However, if you're giving the child the choice, he's just killing himself, and that's okay. Kids need to think, am I going hungry if I don't pack enough or what? can I put in my lunch that isn't going to make my mother mad? They're not thinking that sh They don't care about what their mother thinks. They just do it. They don't care. What kind of eight-year-old has sympathy? Name one. Seriously, name one. Go ahead. No, I I'm serious. I can literally hear you. This is interactive. This is live. Go ahead. Exactly. You can't. 
You can't. Our goal is not to help kids find two socks or a match to be able to turn in their homework on time. We're just trying to teach the executive function skills that they need in order to become independent thinkers when they get older. <laughs> okay, but like eight years old, I don't think they're gonna make good choices with uh, food. I don't think they exactly care about their health at that point. So yeah, just choose, make your child choose what the hell to do, you know? When they're eight years old, make them choose their own little breakfast, their little lunch thing. They don't wanna fill it up with uh, healthy stuff. You, They wanna f***ing fill it up with a bunch of gushers and, you know, greasy stuff like McDonald's french fries. Let them go ahead. It teaches them independence. And they know that you're not gonna do because while they're doing all this stuff, crazy stuff, you're writing a book on how to raise a child. Make sure to give them time out for five minutes. How about whipping their ass and say, if you do this again, I'm going to do this again, okay? And that they learn. Last spicy may may. It's not really that spicy. This was quite lame. Quite a mild pie, you know. Airline launches seat alert to help passengers avoid crying babies. Passengers on Japan Airlines are given the opportunity to select seats away from those reserved for babies up to age two. But you know what? You know, you don't have to do this, to be honest with you. No, if there's a child on your plane, let's say, crying their balls off. Scenario, okay? You're just sitting down, you hear a baby crying. That's it. Just takes takes a quite a loud noise, but all of a sudden they, they quiet they quiet down. That's it. That's it. You don't hear no more baby. Se cabo. Everyone's gonna thank you. No one's gonna, you know, charge you for murder. I'm not hating on babies. I'm just saying. That's an easier solution. A easier guaranteed solution for those babies to be quiet. However, others on Twitter accuse people of being intolerant. They are babies as we all once were. We need to learn tolerance or soon we will need a map of seat locations for mouth breathers, droolers, farters, drunks, and perhaps more things in line. Have you ever seen that video on Inside Edition? That's where I saw it. Of this baby just screaming constantly during a seven, seven hours nonstop, just this baby screaming. That ear piercing scream is an unruly child on a transatlantic flight to New York. But I mean, I'm all open for this thing that the Japanese people are doing, you know? I really don't want to go deaf by the time I hit Tokyo, okay? If I, I try to reason. If you want me to try and reason with a with a baby, uh, your, your own baby, I don't think you're going to be happy with the results, okay? The baby, I'm not going to tell it verbally. Baby? Hey, hey, baby, look at me. You have to stop crying. Wanna cry more, bitch? <laughs> Wanna cry more? Your baby's going to be slapped in the fifth dimension. I don't care. Well, that's it for today's video um, of Spicy Pie. And if you want to see more Spicy Pies for some god unknown reason, make sure to uh, say in the comments, I want to see more Spicy Pies because, you know, uh, and that's it. That, that's all you got to say. And I'll be like, okay, then I'll just do more. So make sure to comment that. Remember, kill your local baby on an airplane. You know, just do it. Don't actually do it, but just pretend that you want to do it. Nah, just kidding. Don't actually pretend to do it. Just don't take my word on it because then whatever you do, whatever crime you commit, it goes back to me and I really don't want to get in trouble because I want to make money. Krispy Kreme is better than Dunkin' Donuts. I don't care. I don't care. It tastes like bread with frosting. Yeah, yeah, just blow.